Hey guys, uh, this is Rick, and I fucked it up again. <laughs> no surprise of oh, anyone bad. ever. Oh, uh, bad. oh, bad. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, so what's gonna happen is I got Voldex uh, to uh, co-commentate this one with me because I have all the footage, but I don't have any sound. The microphone didn't capture and the game audio didn't capture. So you're going to get a huge dose of Dark Souls with no sound today. No in-game sound, but we'll still be talking. And Voldex hasn't seen it, and Voldex is my biggest fan. So this is this is the perks of being my biggest fan. You can just come in the recording booth randomly. So here we go. Uh, you know, we could just do the whole game a cappella. It'd be funny. We can we can make all the sound effects ourselves, and uh, well, you know, you you brought me out of bed for this. I hope you're happy. I know. Yeah, Volix just woke up. It was like how how early in the morning is it for you over there? That's one a.m. right now. Uh, I went to sleep at about four p.m. So I was expecting to sleep for about twelve or eighteen hours or something stupid like that, so I could be awake for when my girlfriend comes around, but. Nah, it's probably not going to happen. I'm just going to stay awake from here on in. Anyway, enough of my life problems. Uh, did you just see, hear that? Uh, see who the who the what? Yeah. D did you just hear that on my microphone? I didn't hear a thing. Awesome. That means the trains are really quiet. Awesome. Because it All seems right. it seems loud to me, but every time I've recorded, I haven't heard it on the capture, which means I have my microphone set up that it won't record uh, the train outside my window. I moved to California, by the way. I'm in California now. Um, so. <laughs> I thought you farted. Uh, okay. Did you seriously hear it or not? No, I didn't hear a thing. Okay, good. Don't it's fuck with microphone. me. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeti's Yeti's a reliable brand. Um but anyway, as for what's what's going on in the actual game, um uh, I didn't oh, notice yeah, they that. give you pri they give you prism stones. They give you like twenty of them before you even go into this place. Yeah, it's how you check for the invisible bridges in oh, the spoilers. <laughs> Dick <laughs> Oh, come on now. I, I actually thought I was going to die there. I I didn't remember that <laughs> drop being. Uh, anyway, so uh, this first uh, this first part is going to be a lot of fapping around. Uh, I don't remember. Is there anything special about this one? Never mind. I just remembered what was special about this one particular crystal crystal golem. I need to keep my mouth shut instead of just like trying to remember things I did while I was playing this. I'm gone, right? Well, if you kept your mouth shut, then it'll just be me co-commentating on my own. So it'd just be solo commentary. No, 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 no. I mean about about spoiler you things like things that people aren't supposed to know until it happens. Well, it's not really spoilery. I mean, we can say it right now. Uh, as you can see, there's a Katarina knight. That gets uh, knocked out of the of the giant golden golem, and there are two golden golems in the game. One spews out a Katarina knight, and this particular Katarina knight is Sieglind, and she is the daughter of Sigmeyer. And this is how you continue the quest line for the Katarina thing, which I I've actually never really completed. <laughs> yeah, I never actually did this in my first playthrough. <laughs> I haven't done it at all. Um three times and i've never completed it it's one of the things i've never done in dark souls one ever. yeah well um she seems nice i was really confused because when sieg Siegmeier popped out i was like why are you talking in girl voice did you like have a sex change or sex something change. i was like what the and then oh okay and i i, I because i've just i've just read up on where to go for all of these quests i haven't really read up on what people say or what people do there so Law stuff yeah so anyway um i i i moved i got a new job in california um oh, and what are you doing? uh i'm a, a database manager um oh, database wow, engineer yeah it looks really good on a resume um it Worked out kind of good. I mean, I was having trouble getting my foot in the industry because I didn't have any job experience, and now I have more job experience than I could possibly want. So, like, 
once I'm here for a year, I'll be able to do pretty much anything, I think, in theory. That's kind of cool. Over here in England, if you want a job, you need previous experience in that job, but you can't get the experience because no one will let you have a job to get experience in, so it's a horrible catch-22. Yeah, we have the same problem over here. Um, the way you get into your first job over here is usually through friend of a friend or family. Um... There's no other way. And if your family refuses to help you and all your friends are assholes, you can't get a job. Straight up. <laughs> your ass beat in this. Yeah. What was, what was the reasoning behind actually attacking all these crystal golems? I was talking about job stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I'm talking about the crystal golems in the video. Like, what, what was your reasoning? I wanted to talk about job stuff. Oh. So I ran around being an idiot while I catch people up on what's going on in my life because I haven't been like releasing a lot of episodes and I was like, I don't want an excuse to just fap around and be an idiot while I talk about like just life stuff for a little while. So it was like, you know, I'll just do that. Yeah, so, have a habit of living that. Yeah. So I'm not doing really anything important right now worth worth too much concern i wanted to double check and make sure there wasn't anything in this courtyard that was important but all these all these crystal things all they drop is blue tie nine and i don't use that for anything so screw it Nah, the only thing you use it for is uh, for magic enchantments on well like magic infusion on weapons which is very specific and yeah. upcoming right now is crystal armor which is actually pretty damn good and it looks cool it's actually very light considering how much poison armor it gives i actually like that set does it have like low durability or something? I I think so. Now that you mention it, but let's face it, armor, yeah, <laughs> armor's got a very low durability reduction. Like whenever you get hit, so okay, yeah, you'd, you'd be repairing it more often. But not considering how many times you go back back and forth between a bonfire, it's not really an issue. Yeah, I think you can repair it. Uh, I'm not going to check the wiki. I'm too lazy. Okay, that's fine. So, um, oh, yeah, God. I wanted to at least give an update on why I haven't been releasing videos as frequently as I was when I was living in Ohio. Um, the new Life. job has taken a lot of my time and the new uh, studio apartment I have is cool, but... I thought there was going to be a lot of noises and it was going to be really hard to record. And as it turns out, there are a lot of noises, but I'm the only person that can hear them. And the way I've got my recording set up, jacked. I uh, heard that. I, you heard what? I heard that. I heard a little thing in the background there. What thing? I, so you're telling me when you actually do have something in the background, I can't hear it. But when there isn't anything in the background, I can actually hear noises. Oh my god! Oh no, there was a train that there was a train that time. But the the when oh. the train came last time, you were just like whatever. So okay, uh -huh. so the train does show up on the capture. Awesome. Well, I'm like very, very faint. Very faint. Okay. Like barely noticeable. I, d I was actually just paying attention for it last time. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, hello, train. Hello. Yeah, I usually say hello to it whenever it comes on during a recording or something. You know what you should do? Every single time a train uh, beeps its horn outside, you should uh, like body slam it like that guy from Final Fantasy Three. I think it's Final Fantasy Three. What is that though? There's one. There's one when you're on the ghost track in Final Fantasy, and you body slam it. I don't it's like remember. One of the funniest video game moments ever. It's like body slamming a train. <laughs> He's just picking up a launcher into space. <laughs> oh, it's the the suplexing a train. I I know yeah, what suplex. game that's from. I don't think it's Final Fantasy. It is Final Fantasy. Okay. I guarantee it is. I just can I just can't remember which one. I want to say three. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I'm so hyped for the for the remake of uh, number seven. I've never even played seven. Oh. That'll be my first experience. I'm wondering if oh. I should film it or something. Oh, it's a long game. But, yeah. oh my god, it's so good. I mean, back then, it came out at the right time, because right now, I mean, the graphics are laughable, but back when I was playing it, I didn't think that, that graphics could get any better than what they currently were at when I was playing it. How wrong I was. <laughs> but when you look at it, you're like, seriously, you don't think it could have possibly have gotten better than this, because the characters are all blocky, and it's worse than Minecraft. Well, Minecraft graphics are actually pretty good. It's just meant to be that way. 
We just glanced over something, by the way. Uh, that was the first experience with invisible floors. Oh, the, yeah. the crystal, the crystal cave being completely full full of them. You have to watch droplets coming down from the ceiling, and they'll land on the invisible path. Or people are nice, and they'll leave signs on the invisible path for you to follow. These are actually developers' messages. Oh, are they? Yeah. Any. Uh, if there's an elite knight for a develop, uh, it's a developer message for the for the picture. Oh, okay. Tip. So that's always there, because can you imagine if it wasn't there? I mean, no one would figure it out. It's like it'd be impossible. But it's really, really awesome, and I can't believe you're trying to fight that golem. Wow, that's really ballsy. I just I just run past him. I'm like, see you, fatty. I think I tried to fight everything at least once when I was running through here. I can't tell you how lucky you are. <laughs> that jump that you made right then. Holy crap. <laughs> You're such a ballsy player. It's better than what I was doing. Like, constantly having my shield up and being like, uh, Oh, that bothers me. Have you noticed that on that that one like plank, you can't run up the side of the platform and it like shunts you off to a side? Yeah, it is a very slippery thing, and will you make the next jump? Who knows? Hello, butterfly. Yeah, there's a lot of butterflies around here. I think they're all angry. They, they, they're all basically miniature versions of the Moonlit Butterfly boss, right? They're the same size, and it's not worth killing them. They might drop blue titanite and they only give you like 1200 soul there's been three trains in the last 10 minutes <laughs> that's the most trains i've ever heard in succession in one my god well i know when to not record now well did you um i'm guessing you got that place cheap uh no it's crazy expensive. It's like even though it's right next to a train. Track. Yeah, it's um, I'm paying a thousand three hundred and fifty dollars for it in a, a month. What? Yeah, because there's no other places to live out here. It took me a whole month to find to find even this. Hmm. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, the the housing situation out here is god awful. It's like just bad. And by the way, that was an episode break. I'm gonna try to start doing episode uh like recordings so I can rest my voice and like have it some time to reflect and think between episodes, and I think that's gonna make my content a lot better. But uh Oh, you missed them. Missed what? Behind Oh, you. don't worry, I'll come back. When you really? Yeah, because Oh, spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> you did it. You are telling me not to be. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, don't worry. Don't worry. I, I, I saw them. Um, oh, there's the drop of no return. Yeah. Well, almost. I remember seeing a gank spank right here, like three people, and... <laughs> bye, bye. Did you bye, see me throw the ring on, though? <laughs> You did. It's like mm, I sure knew that was that. going to happen the second I went down there. I was like, "I'm gonna fall down," and instantly, this is not gonna go well. There's, wow. there's you no way. The yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was just like, I was just like, yeah, no. Oh, it, there it is. Yeah. Anyway, we're back. Um, and uh, gonna make another yeah. jump, and then I turn directly around and I see it, and I'm like, oh, what? Oh. I don't know why I didn't immediately react to what was over there. That was insanely stupid. Like, I saw the thing, but for some reason I just didn't go after it. I was just like, huh. Yeah, hey, there's a crystal lizard I should probably kill. I'll get back to it later. Yeah, probably. Let's go to it now. Wait! Ah! Oh my god. What are you doing? What do you think I'm get, doing? Are you trying to get your binoculars out or something? No. Oh, man. You're going to be so disappointed when you get to the end. <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever do. I've already done this at least once before. Have you? Yeah. Like, I mean, I've, I've played through the game uh, I know, but once. normally people don't find this bit, like, on the first playthrough, because they don't, like, look behind them. I hope that in Dark Souls 3, the, the, the game punishes you for not looking up or behind you after a drop or... 
yeah, no, not thinking laterally. Oh my god. That, I don't believe it. I just figured something out in Demon Souls. That's why it's called the Tower of Latria, because it requires lateral thinking in order to progress to certain points. Oh! oh. Wow. <laughs> The Tower of Latria. That's okay. pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Man, I love naming conventions like that. That make me so happy. Yeah, it's like, um, because there's a boss in Demon Souls where you have to travel... you gotta, you got to go through basically a maze, and you've got to kill an NPC overlooking the boss room. And if you don't, then the boss continuously revives. Uh, but there's nothing to tell you that that's what happens, or what will happen when you kill the guy, or if you even should kill him, or even he's connected to the boss, other than that, the fact that he's overlooking the boss room with like a glyph around him. But there's no indication as to why that happens. So, <laughs> I hope there's stuff like that in Dark Souls 3. I really do. Okay. Um, I need to make one note because the game sound isn't on. Whenever you drop one of these prisms and uh, it doesn't hit the ground immediately, it will scream. scream whenever it hits the ground at a far distance. And yeah. it's extremely unnerving. Yeah, and you kill the prism stone. Yeah. Does that mean that inside the prism stone there are tiny people? And you're just throwing them to that death? Well, you're not oh. doing that on purpose. But that makes me feel so sad. You know what? I've never actually read the Prism Stone description. I wonder if there's like an indication as to whether or not there's a tiny person on the inside. What if you're chucking borrowers down cliffs and you have no idea? That makes me feel so sad. I feel sorry for Prism Stones. <laughs> I feel sorry for me. <laughs> like, do you see what I'm doing right now? Yeah, this is the hardest um, bridge to cross. Normally, the like straight lines, but this one's up and down and side to side and wiggle around. And it's actually not that complicated. I just made it way more complicated than I thought it needed to be. Oh no, you're doing exactly what you should be doing. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I can't do I can't do, do it without prism stones. Not that I'd ever want the item that's at the end of it. I love how they make you work to get this one. This is probably the hardest item in the entire game to get. And it's crap. I mean, there's only a couple of builds I can think of that can actually make use of this item. Because infusions in this game are just rubbish. They're no good. Also, I think there's a dead end. I think you've actually reached a dead end. Cause... Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. I've, there's, there is a path a that is a that is a red herring, off of this main bridge, where you just get stuck out in the void and you can't get back. And that is exactly where I've managed to find myself, though I didn't realize it at the time. <laughs> this is Dark Souls version of Minesweeper. Oh. In the long run, it was better that I just fell off. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's a mine. <laughs> Join the borrowers, wreck. They're waiting for you. The the uh, borrowers? Yeah, the borrowers. No, I haven't heard of this. Is this a British thing? I you you've never heard of the borrowers? Well, I mean, I, I remember there was like a movie a really long time ago. That was like a kids' movie that I saw, but past Ta that, the story of the borrowers, the tiny people living living under the floorboards of your house that borrow stuff so they can get by. Yeah, that was and, the movie. Yeah, there was also. Um, Hayao Miyazaki's rendition of The Borrowers with Arietti. BT Dubs. Um, that was the time that I was like, I came back and I was like, so there was a shit ton of crystal. There was a shit ton of crystal lizards down here. I killed all of them. I, it happened so fast. I didn't have time to turn the capture on. I can't believe you're running. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It gets better. You're gonna reach your souls and you're about to click them and then you fall off right nah i mean dude there was no, only a there was only like a thousand two hundred souls i know what you're gonna do you're gonna jump for it aren't you you're just gonna jump and you're gonna land on it that's what's gonna happen right that would be funny 
Oh man, that would have been so cool. <laughs> what, what do you think my ballsy level is at right now? Scale of 1 to 10. Just guessing. And just continuously walking and not stopping once. <laughs> <laughs> that was you know, just like uh... Uh, it sounds like something that you do because it's like ah oh no oh no I'm on the very edge here oh my god <laughs> I'm so scared so freaking terrified out here in the middle of why would you even go for this you've already gotten it once I don't even rem I didn't remember what it was and I was just trying to do everything I could. Just because I'm a, I'm kind of a completionist sometimes. Mm. Uh, it, it's stupid, but I go after treasure that's specifically hard to get more often than treasure that's easy to get that's useful. Just because well, of the challenge factor. It's, yeah, it's an adventure. Uh, you know, what? it would have been a lot better. I mean, I, I get why it's the item that it is and how hard it is to get. I get that, but. The fact that it's not that useful for pretty much 99% of all builds that are made in the game. Mm. It's, it's one of those, oh, I'm going to use this as an offhand item, situationally sort of thing, if I'm a magic build. That's, that's one reason. Oh my god, you're so close. Are you ready for this? You're gonna. You're just gonna go. Fuck it. <laughs> I have. I think that's what I end up doing. Cause the. I mean, the developer message is like right there. <laughs> yeah. The developer message was like right there, and I was just I like, you know did what? It. I did it. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a blue titanite slab, and that is the only one that you can get in the entire game. Whether or not it drops off one of the butterflies on a rare drop, I haven't got a clue. But if you put it, it basically it removes all the scaling from weapons and makes it scale off your intelligence. So if you've got high intelligence, it'll allow you to do high melee damage, like high physical damage, I think. Oh, wait, no. That's Dark Souls 2. That's no, enchanted weapons. Yeah, that's enchanted. Um, which you do, I mean, which is enchanted in, in this, because enchanted does something different in Dark Souls 2 than it does in Dark Souls 1. And in Dark Souls 1, it allows you to scale off magic damage. Uh, like, intelligence for magic damage. Hmm. It's pretty good. But, you know, you can't buff it, which is why I think it's a good side weapon. Like okay. a, an s stock or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, man, that was pretty damn good. That was... Wreck law levels of ballsy. Yeah, that was... It, was, it worked out, which is I mean, everything you can possibly hope for. Listen to how hard I'm fapping over that. That's just great. Much fapping. Very Much fap. Much fapping. <laughs> okay. So let's okay, see, uh, time. let's see, uh, uh boss well, time. Is that what you think is about to happen? Well, <laughs> well, actually, shall we say the boss is food time? Uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, it's, um... I fucking hate these things, by the way. I mean, in the law, they're actually his food, and you know, um, there were also clams right before the ancient dragon too. So dragons love clams. Yep. That's weird. Well, I guess it makes sense too, but yeah, it's more weird than anything. We'll see how you deal with this. Yeah. <laughs> After the episode break. After the episode. God, break. man, the first time I do episode breaks, it's at the worst possible time when I'm trying to do a 45-minute episode to make up for the fap up that I did. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, anyway. Oh, no. What the fuck? <laughs> oh Running. god, it had a rendering error. Oh, that's what happened. That's the reason it's taking so long. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're coming back to kill clams. Uh, already, oh yeah, you've. Um, I can see you've actually the recording did screw up because the fog walls are. Yeah, don't worry about so, it. I'll so at this it. point, you've already okay. So I've already start. tried to kill him once. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you what happened when I tried to kill him once, so we won't have to do this again. Uh, um, when I tried to kill him the first time, uh, I aggroed all the clams. 
and <laughs> all of them chasing after me, and one of them hit me Got in the it. butt and killed me, and it flew. It flung my body forward through the door, and I started the cutscene, and after the cutscene ended, immediately died. <laughs> because my dead body started the cutscene. It was it was kind of magical and you'll see it when I put the video out because I've got to put that in. But okay, um good. but that won't be included in the stream though. N- no, because for some reason it it dicked up and black screened it because sometimes Vegas just has rendering errors like that. Oh, I died. Oh. This is the this is the third time I've died as a result of clams. All right, we'll start the actual YouTube commentary recording part, like, after this, but, like, when you get back into the archives. You know, that is Zeekland waiting at the bonfire there. Mm-hmm. All right, I just wanted to make sure. Might have been Sigmar. And then it cuts out. Okay, wait until it comes back, and then we'll start the... All oh, right, attempt number fifty-eight. Attempt right. number fifty-eight. <laughs> I didn't have that many issues, and all oh, by the way, fuck these clams. <laughs> <laughs> fuck these clams. Clams are delicious. Just ask Seath. He likes to keep his enemies close and his food even closer. Hi, Seath. <laughs> that asshole. <laughs> Okay, real talk. Uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to ask you, Rack, um, in regards to Dark Souls in general and your thoughts on Dark Souls 3, because I actually value your opinion, believe it or not. Yep. Um, what is your favorite weapon in Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, respectively? And no, you can't pick the same weapon, and no, Black Knight sword is off the table. Favorite weapon that isn't the Black Knight sword? Yeah. Uh, in Dark Souls 1, my favorite weapon that isn't the Black Knight sword is Dragon Great Sword. Oh, yeah. Because Freaking. I love yelling uh, Tetsaiga Windscar Tetsaiga. and killing people in PvP with it. That's really funny. Um, yeah. yeah. And then. Um, God damn it. Wow, Seath is wrecking your day. <laughs> Seath is wrecking my face. <laughs> Everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong. I hate you, Windows. <laughs> but in Dark Souls 2... Oh, I think I know what you're going to say. Is it very flamey? And is it very delicious? Give me a second on Dark Souls 2. It's what I'm using right now. What are you using right now? I've not been paying attention. Black Crib uh, Greatsword. Black Crib. Oh, that's right. The the other weapon I told you to try out besides the uh, the Roaring Halberd. Yeah, I was like, I really hate the Roaring Halberd, and I want something that that scales off my dark damage, but it's fun to use. And you were like, just go use the freaking thing you get from the rotten. I was like, oh, okay. And then I went to use it. And, or I went to, to burn the... Uh, the yeah, oh, by the way, I wish I'd recorded that because I kicked the rotten's ass on New Game Plus. <laughs> like, I beat him into the floor. It was so funny. Well, he's not that hard. He, he isn't, but I had so much it. trouble with him the first time, and I just did it so well the second time that it was just like, it was pathetic. He taught me two attempts on my first playthrough. It, was, it wasn't too hard. Uh, but then again, I was trying to chop his hands off <laughs> because I knew you could, I heard somewhere that you could actually do that, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what my favorite, actually, I do use the Uchi Katana and the Iato in, on my main PvP build in Dark Souls 1, but loads of people use that because it's such a versatile weapon. And even to the point where people think it's overpowered, but it is not overpowered. It's only overpowered if you, you know, you buff it, but you can say that about any weapon, really. Um, but, uh, general crap aside, I would have to say my favorite Dark Souls 1 weapon is... The 
drag is the weapon that I can't even remember the name of. It's the one that you get from cutting off Calamine's tail. Um, Obsidian Greatsword, that's it. Obsidian Greatsword. That weapon is amazing. And see this still... Just steamrolling me. Steamrolling me. Like a train. Like, well, actually... Like geez. a freaking annoying passenger train that won't uh, stop going outside my window. <laughs> I have learned that the reason I don't record on weekdays during the day is because this train goes absolutely crazy. I didn't realize how bad it was until just now. Normally I record it like really early in the morning on Saturdays or like really late at night on weekdays when it's not running as much. Either but, one. But Jesus. I had to have you here. Mm-hmm. And I, I can't because... It knows. Yeah. It knows that we're recording. So anyway, you see what I'm doing now? Mm -hmm. yeah, put, so you're putting on curse-resistant gear. Light curse-resistant gear. Even though the cursing isn't your problem during the fight. I know. I was just like, you know, fast. I'll throw it on anyway. The big problem is that I just need lighter armor to be faster. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, favorite weapon in Dark Souls... Two. Okay, so did I not weapons. did I not answer that? Uh, yeah, it, yeah. I'm talking about me. Oh, okay. I'm my opinion too. I'm in the recording. Well, I don't remember what I said. <laughs> oh, you said uh, crypt black sword. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then yeah. Dark Souls one. What did you say for Dark Souls one? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the dragon great sword. Uh, but yeah, my favorite one in Dark Souls one is the obsidian great sword, which you get for cutting off Calamite's tail. One because it's the hardest tail cut in the game. Two because Calamite's actually tough to beat, at least for a newbie, and is awesome. It's one of the only dragons you actually fight, like a proper dragon, because Seath isn't really a dragon. He's a, he's a An abomination. Pretty much. And he's also the lord of all magic. He created magic, apparently. And he's got all those books, and I'm pretty sure he's blind. So, unless he uses magic to see, <laughs> he's not going to be reading those tiny little books. Um... Favorite weapon in Dark Souls 2? Oh boy. Um, there are so many good weapons I really like. I'd have to say it would have to be the Murakumo because of its versatility. It's fast, it hits hard. I love doing the two handed parry on it. It scales really well, even though I use minimum stats. It just looks so stylish. And. It's not overpowered. There's, there's some degree of skill to using it. Mostly what people tend to do is they just spam the R1. Do, 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 all the time. And they just catch people off guard with it like a lot, which is the wrong way of using the weapon. But my other favorite weapon is actually the Fume Ultra Greatsword that you get off killing Rain. That thing is so much fun to use. Like, its special attack is just kick-ass. And I really hope that in Dark Souls 3 there are more weapons with special attacks, because in Dark Souls 1 there aren't that many weapons with special attacks. Normally it's some weapons with boss souls, or like Moonlight Greatsword for you know, cutting off Sea's tail, or the dragon weapons. You know, those are the ones with the special attacks, but there's only like six weapons in the game with special attacks that shoot shit. But in Dark Souls 2, there's like a ton. There's a million of them. And I hope that continues in Dark Souls 3. I want more pew-pew from my melee weapons. I haven't used uh, the Moonlight Greatsword before, but I want to use it when I go through Dark Souls and do my all-caster run. Because next time I want to play want to play through the game, or maybe when I record Dark Souls 2 for YouTube, uh, I want to go Sorcery and uh, Strength Build. And I'll be Sorcery using Moonlight. Strength. Moonlight <clears throat> Greatsword, definitely, for that. Um, i tell you what I could do. Um, I could do a soul level 20 run, and I could cut off Seath's tail for you, and then I could give you the Moonlight Greatsword right at the beginning of the game. That would be silly. And it would be awesome. I get all upgraded, of course. You'd have to get the dragon scales yourself. 
But, you know, it's fun. I mean, you'd be destroying everything at the beginning of the game, but hey, you actually did it. You, you decided not to really go for the tail. Yeah, I was just like, this is dumb. <laughs> I don't need the tail. I know what it drops already. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think the other thing I end up doing is just going back and leveling up the stats that I've been leveling up forever and um, talk about what I'm planning on doing next. Mm, I think the next thing I'm actually going to do that I decided on doing was Demon Ruins because I don't want to do the, um, the Dark Place without the hat. So I'm going to go to oh, the Demon the Ruins. The sunlight maggot. Yeah, I want it, I want the sunlight maggot when I'm going through those tunnels because I am fucking just I don't like doing that part without any light that pisses that, me off. That involves giving thirty humanity to Quellana though. Actually, no. How many have you already given her? Actually, none. If I play my cards right, I shouldn't have to give her any humanity. Oh, so you're not planning on saving Salah? I am. So how are you going to save Salah? We'll find out Salah. next time on Dark Souls. Thanks for joining me, Voldex. That's the Price is Right theme. <laughs> Why am I doing the Price is Right theme? I don't know. <laughs> it's a good tune. All right, bye, guys.